functioning as soon as it starts to work. Go home from the cafe and make an announcement. We do apologize for playing the cafe and do make it very Okay, so just got on the train from Chicago, which will take us all the way to Montana. Uh, we did not miss the train. <laughs> I got the I got to the station at about 2:50. The train left at 3:05. Made it in a rush, but we're all settled in now. Uh, right now, we're in the observation deck, which is kind of like a cart fully dedicated to um, just taking in the scenery. The name of this uh, path is called the Empire Builder. So it goes all the way from Chicago to Seattle. Pretty excited. Just got on. I'm gonna be on this train for about. 30 hours um, taking the views. All right, see ya. <laughs> All right, so we're about five hours into the uh, into the train ride right now. We're in Winona, Minnesota. It's uh, like 9 p.m. so it's really dark out. Scenery wise, there's not a lot. Uh, this train ride has been pretty interesting with the people, but I'm looking forward to the rest of it. Probably just gonna catch sleep for most of it and see where we end up. All right, so this is our official last stop in St. Paul, Minneapolis before we shut everything down for the night. It was a pretty successful day. Uh, pretty dark for most of the trip, so the scene, the scenery wasn't anything crazy. But yeah, uh, about eight hours down, 22 more to go. I'll see y'all in the morning. Sleeping car accommodations, as well as the back of the coach seats. They have these uh, things with the uh, Guardian deck. All right, so we are currently in North Dakota. It is 7:45 a.m. We are greeted by a beautiful sunrise over the flat plains of North Dakota. Currently 14 hours out from Glacier and uh, it's pretty scenic, pretty, very flat actually. But, I don't know, very exciting. Yeah. So we're on our first smoke slash stretch break in Minot, North Dakota. Uh, didn't sleep great last night. It's a little bumpy, but everything was fine. Um, we're about halfway to Glacier now, so we'll be there tonight at around 9.30, 10 p.m. It's going well. It's a beautiful weather out and hopefully it stays like this for the National Park. So this train is set up pretty differently from the first one that I took in that it is a double-decker train. Um, with the top level being dedicated to the seats and the sleeping areas and the bottom being the dining carts and the cafe carts as well as some bathrooms. Um, so as you can see here, we're in one of their observation decks, uh, which was not in the last train we took. And these are basically uh, carts dedicated to take in the scenery around you with essentially floor to ceiling windows uh, to look at what's outside. So right now we are in Shelby, Montana, and this is our last stretch stop before we are in Glacier National Park. The Amtrak does a pretty good job of spacing out these stretch stops, so you have time to move your legs around or take a quick smoke break or just get a breath of fresh air in the middle of your very long train ride. Uh, but yeah, feeling pretty good. It's the last stop before we're in the park, and it's really exciting. We should be there in about three hours, and I guess I'll see you in Glacier. All 
All right, so we officially just got dropped off at West Glacier. Got my hotel key from the nice lady in the Highland Motel. I'm gonna walk about a mile down that way on Highway 2 to get to the hotel. I am fully loaded here with the backpack on the front, backpack on the back, and then my luggage there. So hopefully I don't get hit by a car or eaten by a grizzly on the way over, but I'm ready to call it a night, take a shower, and get to the hotel. Tomorrow, we start the adventure in Glacier National Park. Been waiting for this, super excited. See ya. So we finally made it after a mile on the road. Wow, I am sweating. Yeah, we're finally here. This is the motel. It's not too bad. And I'm just excited that I was able to get here, get a place, get all settled in. Now it's time to take a shower and crash. <laughs> all right, good morning. It is currently 8 a.m. Right behind me there, that's Glacier National Park. We're finally here and we're finally gonna hike it. But it's pretty temperate, maybe like mid 50s, beautiful hiking weather. Um, a little cloudy in the sky, but hopefully it clears up as the day goes on. Uh, traveling pretty light. I'm gonna pick up some bear spray, uh, fuel up, and hopefully have a great day at Glacier. So right now we are in the Glacier Highland restaurant and I heard that they have really good huckleberry pancakes so that's what I'm trying out now. This is the uh, this is the spread. Got some eggs and pancakes to fuel up for the hike. Alright, so we just finished up breakfast. It was very filling, but very good. I uh, was able to have some conversations with some of the travelers in the in the restaurant there. It's, it's always really cool when people are open to talk and share their stories. And that's kind of what this whole trip has been about, going solo. Uh, just meeting new people along the way and getting to hear their journeys and what's happening with them. Right now, I'm going to head to Apgar Village, which is about two miles along the Going to the Sun Road, which is the most famous like uh, kind of drive along the park. Um, I'm gonna walk it for about two miles and then check out which hikes uh, I'm gonna do today. I'm pretty stoked and now I'm pretty full, so I should be all fueled up for a great hike today. Just got off the shuttle at Avalanche Lake, or the trail at Avalanche Lake. This is the first hike we're gonna be doing in Glacier. Super excited. goes up to Avalanche Lake. It first started uh, by a nice little river and it was kind of like a raised wooden bridge and then as you can see it turned into a very very foresty area. It's a uh, with the rain and everything it's giving me Pacific Northwest vibes but it's a really really moderate hike. Uh, it's not too bad. It's about two and a half miles out and two and a half back so a total of five mile trip. Yeah, going well and not too bad so far. Feeling good. Alright, so we made it to Avalanche Lake and 
God, is it beautiful. It was not a hard hike at all, but the view is quite spectacular. You can see two falls. Oh, you can see three falls off in the distance. Uh, behind us is a cute little valley. Um, and it, yeah, it wasn't bad. We got it right as the sun is starting to peak out. Um, it was a pretty pretty crowded trail. I guess it's, it's uh, on the easier side, so it makes sense. But yeah, uh, sun coming in right as we finish uh, for the gorgeous view. If you guys want to see this. So I just got back off the shuttle after doing Avalanche Lake. Um, so because I don't have a car here, everything is pretty reliant on the shuttle system, uh, which only runs from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So that's something that I have to work around, but I'm sure I'll make it work. Right now I'm heading to Apgar Village to check out the restaurants and shops. Right now we're at the base of Apgar Village. It has quite a beautiful view of Lake McDonald and the, the uh, mountains in the background. Yeah, it's almost five o'clock, so the shuttles will be out of service. And I picked up a, a couple things. They have a, some shops and restaurants right here and a little motel. So it's a nice place if you just want to chill, maybe get a kayak or hop in the water. I don't know, but yeah, it's quite beautiful. All right, so we're gonna head back, uh, back into West Glacier. Day one was pretty successful. It was very chill, kind of just easing into the hiking here and getting a feel for what this place is. There are a lot of really nice people, mostly older people, because all the college kids like me are back in school by this point. But I don't know, I'm really excited to do uh, some tougher hikes. Uh, today was really easy, but we're easing in, we're easing in. back in the motel. Uh, day one was pretty chill, but I just spent the last couple of hours planning out the rest of this trip because I have a bad habit, or a good habit, depending on how you look at it, of planning these trips but not planning what exactly I'm gonna do. I'm ready for some intense hikes, which I think tomorrow's gonna start them off. I'm gonna do the Highline Trail, which is a uh, which is a super popular one here. So I'm excited to actually get some legit hikes under the belt. Uh, but yeah, very successful day one, very chill, just getting acclimated to everything and figuring out how I'm gonna spend my time in the park for the next four days. Yeah, we got a, we got a lot coming. All right, sweet. So we just got off the shuttle at Logan Pass, uh, going along the Going to the Sun Road, and it was beautiful. You see the huge cascading mountains and the the valleys all 
all throughout the entire drive and then you see some waterfalls falling down. Right now we're at the Hidden Lake Trailhead which is about uh, two and a half out, two and a half back so this would be the first uh, trail of the day. But yeah, it's beautiful weather out. It is right around 50 degrees because uh, it gets a lot colder once you go up the mountain. But yeah, this one goes uh, out to, as the name suggests, <laughs> a little hidden lake. After this, we're gonna hit the High Line. It's looking for a beautiful day for hiking. Not a lot of clouds in the sky, so looking forward to it. See ya. decent way into the hike now and it is it is pretty cool you get this super cool view of the uh, of the lake we're going to on a pretty steep descent the whole way down but you, you get teased the entire time it's right there but it's it's a uh, it's very nice I'm at a loss for words you can tell Sorry, I did not update you guys at the destination, but there was a bear spotting. I think it was a black bear right at the bottom of the lake. So I saw a bunch of people stopped and it ended up being uh, like one of those those tour groups. And I was talking to the, the tour guide uh, for maybe 20 minutes about his life. He's here in a glacier for the summer and he just travels place to place sees the world and I just kind of got lost in the conversation um, kept the moment to us so I didn't have my camera out he was really cool and he uh, did a lot of convincing so <laughs> I'm having lots of thoughts right now but yeah uh, we're heading back up to the starting point and then at Logan Pass we're gonna start on the Highline Trail that was an amazing conversation and I'm having some thoughts about life. That's what it's about, I guess. All right, see you at the top. All right, so we are Back at Logan Pass, it is about 1.30. It took about three hours to do the out and back for the for the Hidden Lake Trail. Uh, kinda gotta get moving, so I finished this trail while the sun is still up and it's not dark and dangerous. But yeah, heading on the High Line now. This is one of the premier hikes in the park. It's uh, 7.6 miles out. Stoke is really high. That was a beautiful trail that I just went on. And uh, hopefully this one matches or even tops what I just saw. All right, I'll see you along the way. The top of Haystack Butte, which is uh, an extension off of the Highline Trail. Um, you kind of get a good view of the glaciers in the background over there and a really sick view of the valley down. Uh, at first I was doing it solo, but I met up with uh, a couple people on the way. This is uh, Mike and Mitchell here. <laughs> and then one more girl, Rose. Uh, they have some pretty interesting stories, as is 
the theme of this whole trip. But yeah, they quit their jobs. She got laid off and they're kind of just traveling all around. So it's really cool. Uh, but yeah, this is a high point here. You can see everything. We outside. To like jump off really high cliffs. Yeah, the call of the void, that's what it's called. <laughs> Billy Joel. Billy Joel's playing. You know Jacob. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 Top of that yep. earlier. <laughs> sun is setting. Going to the sun road. Oh That's my awesome. god, y'all can't see me at all. There we go. The sun is setting over uh, over the valley, the McDonald Valley there. And we're yep. heading back down. I caught a ride with these very generous fellows. Uh, <laughs> we are um, we're starting a commune. Uh, very soon, so. Do you have any hard skills? Yeah. <laughs> if you have hard skills, we are accepting applications, uh, particularly in agriculture and medicine. So, um, drop down if you want to join our commune. We can take a cook. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'll update you when I'm getting food or something. I don't know. Bye. All right. So we just got back to the motel. It is currently, wow, it is 9:15 p.m. Oh, we got a lot done today. Uh, I'm, I'm starting to see why people like this park so much. Uh, so yeah, we, we did the Hidden um, hidden Lake Trail and then did the High Line Trail and ended up on Haystack Butte, which is a, a really high overlook along that trail. Uh, today was really unexpected. I met a lot of cool people, uh, as you guys saw, like on the route, uh, on the High Line. Uh, these two guys just quit their job and are road tripping across America, which is sick. This, the one girl I met, uh, Rosemary, she got laid off and decided it was a good opportunity to see the world. So she's traveled to Japan and all over Canada to Alaska and now is in Glacier. And people are, are taking advantage of being young and doing what they want with their life. It's not like they're tying themselves up to a nine to five and waiting till the end to, to do what they want to and, and travel, you know? I meet all these these older people, and they say they've waited their whole lives to see Glacier, and and I wouldn't want to see Glacier for the first time when I was 75. I wouldn't be nearly able to do anything that I've been doing these these crazy hikes or stuff like that. So I don't know. I met I met this guy. He graduated from TCU two years ago. Now he's a uh, seasonal worker. He's a tour guide over for Glacier, and. He just hops around place to place. He ski instructs in Colorado in the winters. He was surfing, teaching surfing in Spain last spring and now works for Glacier during the summer. And it is just, you can make it work if you want to. That's what I'm learning. All right, but it has been such an awesome, cool day. Met so many people. They even gave me a back a ride back down from Logan Pass to my motel, which is <laughs> took off about five extra miles off my trip. So I'm really grateful for them. And I don't know they're also going to Seattle when I'm going to Seattle, so we might catch up again. But yeah, people are cool, man. It's been a really great experience. I've learned a lot and about what I want in life and how other people. Are making it work. So yeah, so yeah. Good night. I'm gonna eat, and tomorrow is gonna be hopefully a good day. I'm gonna try and hitchhike, hitchhike over to the Grinnell Glacier. All right. See ya. All right. So it is currently 7:30 a.m. Uh, I slept in a little later because yesterday was very intense hiking wise. Uh, today I'm going to try and do the Grinnell Glacier hike, which is in the um, many, many glacier area of the park, which is inaccessible by shuttle. So today I'm just really going to be relying on the kindness of strangers and hope someone is going up that way and I can uh, catch a ride with them 
I feel like it's gonna be a, a good day if everything goes to plan. Hopefully, I can find someone that'll uh, take care of me. All right, I'll see you if I get there. So I just finished uh, hitchhiking the first leg. This uh, wonderful couple, older couple, um, were able to take me all the way to St. Mary's, which is the other end of the park. So I'm exiting the park now. The gorgeous view of the mountains back there. But yeah, not quite at the hike I wanna do, but I'm planning on just uh, walking along this road. Hopefully someone else will pick me up and get me to where I wanna go. I got a gorgeous view all the way through, so hopefully I can get there. See ya. All right, so some guy in a really beat up, torn car uh, picked me up, drove me about 10 miles to uh, Bab, and now I'm on the Many Glacier entrance road. I was only walking for about a mile and I got picked up, so should be a little easier now because everyone knows that this is just like the park and should be a little safer than on the side of the road. But yeah, hopefully update you if I get there. See ya. Just like that, we are on the many glacier side. Uh, this. Coca-Cola worker, he's about my age, uh, was able to pick me up. He was running really late, <laughs> late for his work. It is currently 11 o'clock. He said he was supposed to be here at seven. So hopefully the universe rewards him for <laughs> getting me to where I need to be. But yeah, I'm finally on the other side of the park. Saved myself about 30-ish miles, uh, just getting driven around in uh, other people's cars, but mad appreciative for that. And hopefully we can get a really good hike in now, and the payoff is good. All right, see ya. All right, so we found the trailhead, started the hike. Um, I'm super excited for this one because a lot of my friends said this was uh, one of the best hikes in the park. I think it's about 5.6 miles each way. There's about a 2,600 foot elevation gain. So it is a pretty difficult hike from what I hear, but yeah, I'm super excited that I was actually able to get out of here. I was pretty scared that I wouldn't be able to hitch a ride. This place is just beautiful all around, so I'm ready to see some gorgeous, uh, gorgeous scenery. So we made it to the top of the hike. Uh, that right there all around is the Grinnell Glacier. We're about, uh, uh, I forgot the elevation. I'll, I'll put it there after I look it up after. Uh, but it is, it was a, quite a nice hike. The entire time you're like walking up and more and more of these small lakes and rivers are revealed as you gain elevation. You kind of start off in a forest and then slowly, slowly climb, and then you get hit in the last half mile uh, with a really, really steep incline. But then you come here, there's a nice uh, glacial lake here. It's really cold. I actually took a little polar plunge. It was freezing, but when else can you hop in a glacial lake? Uh, so I'm gonna head back down now. We made pretty good time. It took me about three hours to get up. I'll take quicker to get down because it's pretty much all downhill from here. So I'm heading back down now. Probably gonna hit one more hike before I try and hitch some rides home. But yeah, it's a great day. Uh, definitely 
lost my breath a bit on that last hike, but the view is worth it, man. <laughs> when can you see a fucking glacier, man? <laughs> also, if my kids are watching this, uh, it probably won't be there anymore, so you can't see it. But, <laughs> gotta love climate change. Alright, <laughs> see you at the bottom. So right now it is 4.45. Just got back to the trailhead and I was planning on doing another hike, but after some judgment, I don't think that would be the best idea. I think it's gonna be a lot less safe uh, hitchhiking back at night. And a lot of people are finishing the uh, Grinnell Glacier hike now and coming down, so I think there's a good chance. I can find someone who's also heading to West Glacier and call it early uh, today rather than do like a mediocre hike and risk not getting home uh, safely. We maybe get like a real good meal that's not <laughs> peanut butter or uh, cliff bars. So yeah, I'm already at 16 and a half miles on the day, so I think that's a success. Uh, yeah, hopefully I can find someone. Uh, you'll see if I do. <laughs> <laughs> So as you can tell, we made it back to the motel, yeah? It is currently 9.15 p.m. Uh, it was kind of hard finding people like directly at the trailhead, so it took me about 30 minutes to actually find someone. But I ran into these two girls, um, they're packing up their car to leave the, uh, the Grinnell Glacier spot. And I asked them if they, where they were going and they ended up driving me the entire way back. Shout out to Holly and Mary. Yeah, they got me where I needed to go. No complaints at all. Uh, then I got some dinner at the, the place I got breakfast the other day. Uh, ate well, all filled up from the, the huge hike that I did today. We're about, let's see, yeah, almost 20 miles on the day. So yeah, it was a lot of walking, but I ran into a guy I met yesterday at Hidden Lake at the restaurant, so I've been making friends all over, which is pretty cool. We could keep running into these people. Uh, it's a way to live life, I guess. Uh, yeah, we made it back. One final day in Glacier tomorrow. I think I'm gonna do a Sai Pass, uh, and that's all accessible by shuttle, so no more hitchhiking. But yeah, that was my first time hitchhiking ever. Uh, four different people. Uh, and honestly, I'm still alive. I got where I need to go with uh, minimal walking in between. And yeah, people are nice. Uh, people are good, usually. The ones that I ran into, at least. But. See you uh, tomorrow on the last day in Glacier National Park. All right, so it is currently 8.20 a.m. and is our last day in Glacier National Park. I got a little later start on the day just cause I need to recover. If you can hear, I feel like I'm getting a, a little bit of a cold. That's probably cause I <laughs> walked 60 miles in the past three days. But I'm super excited today. We're gonna do um, Sai Pass. Uh, it's about 10 miles and then I gotta make sure I get back uh, to the motel on time so that I don't miss my train tonight. Cause it is our last day. Man, it has been a good couple days. Uh, hopefully this one goes just as well. I'll see you in the park. So we just got to Sai Bend. We're walking along the trail now. Uh, 
It took about three hours between waiting for the shuttle and actually taking the shuttle to get here. So right now it's about 12.30. A little later than I would have hoped for, but we got here and we're starting out. Uh, it's about a 10 mile hike uh, out and back. So I'm pretty excited. Uh, the weather is gorgeous. It's actually a little warm, but that's better than cold. And yeah, should be a good one. Last day in Glacier. Making the most. See ya. got to the top of Sai Pass. Wow, what a freaking hike, man. That is like beautiful. You start out in like a really uh, forested area, lots of woods, and then you slowly make your way out and then you cross some rivers and then suddenly all the trees disappear and you are <laughs> faced with a giant cliff face to your side. And then you're kind of just out, um, no trees around you, then you're you're walking through this like plain area and then after you get through that it is just straight uphill man switchback after switchback on the sheer face of a mountain and the wind i don't know if you could tell but the wind is freaking blowing dude it was like it, at first it was a tailwind but then you hit the switchbacks and then it's a headwind right on you it's like you're fighting to get up but it is gorgeous man you see glaciers you see canyons on both sides of you, which is insane. And then, of course, those glacial pools that are super blue. But yeah, I'm gonna head back down to uh, Sunrift Gorge, which is the other side, and hopefully I get back in time uh, for the shuttle. But also, this is like along this beautiful pathway here, opening up to the two canyons. Man, it's, this is, this is a really beautiful hike. A hard one but a good one. See you at the bottom. I'm an idiot and I didn't realize how long the path back was. I ended up trail running down the whole time so I didn't get a lot of shots but I did catch a bus. Uh, this is the second to last one but I do need to make a transfer so if I didn't catch this one I would have been hitchhiking home and maybe late for my train. But. All right, so we got off the shuttle a bit ago. I'm just walking towards the motel right now. Uh, I realized I didn't give a hike review on the way down. Uh, yeah, I was running like that whole thing. At first I was like getting some shots of me running and then I realized I was my ass was not gonna make it to the shuttle. So I started booking it. <laughs> I put everything in my backpack and like kept my camera in my hand. Maybe I'll put in those like shaky shots, but probably not. Um, yeah, we made it just in time. I caught the second to the last shuttle, so I maybe had like another 10 minutes, but if I didn't run like at all, like I would have missed it. And I probably would have missed my train home and that would have been ass. So right now I'm about, it's 7 p.m. My train leaves at 9.30. Uh, 
Right now, plan is to walk back to the hotel, take a shower, get all clean, pack all my stuff, and then head over to the train station. That should get me there right around time. Yeah, your boy is hungry. Your boy is tired. Your boy's legs hurt because I put on 80 miles in the past four days. But honestly, everything is fucking worth it. This shit was amazing. I'm back on the main road now, so it's a little louder. I'm heading out of the park. Hell yeah, I'll see y'all uh, whenever I see y'all. I don't know. See ya. Currently 8 p.m. All showered up, but I have not touched uh, what I need to pack. There's a lot of it. Um, I don't know how this happened, but I have a lot to clean up. And I uh, hope I don't miss the train because it is in about an hour and a half from now. I guess I'm not eating dinner tonight. Oh well. Alright, with a little bit of editing magic, this will be all packed the next time you see me. I made it on the train, but barely. Literally was pulled in by the time I was running up on the sidewalk. But I was able to check out my hotel. Made it on. I'll be in Seattle at 11.29 a.m. tomorrow. So, I'm just gonna catch some sleep on this train since it goes through the entire night. And, yeah. God, I almost missed it. Don't wait till the last minute to pack your stuff. Bye. Hey guys, if you made it to the end of the video, I just want to say thank you for... <laughs> staying through that entire 42 minute video. I put a lot of time and effort into it. It's kind of hard being a college student and uh, trying to edit these videos. So just stick with me. Um, looking to put out more content, but if you did enjoy it, uh, leave a like and uh, subscribe. And if you want some more travel videos, uh, you can find those here. And thanks for coming on the journey with me. Uh, part one is here and part three is actually coming soon. I'm on winter break now, so don't worry, more content on the way. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you in the next one.